The first thing you're going to want to do is to select yourself a domain name. And I recommend that you go and use GoDaddy.com for your domain company. GoDaddy.com has excellent customer service and uh, I've been able to pick up the phone any time of the day, 24 hours a day, call and get somebody on the phone. Probably the most I've ever had to wait was two minutes. So I've been very pleased with their customer service because there will be times when you need to go in and make some changes. You might add a domain or change some technical details and uh, every now and then you might run into some problems. So it certainly helps to be able to speak up, pick up the phone and speak to somebody. So keep that in mind when you're selecting a domain name. GoDaddy makes it super easy to go ahead and start doing a search to see if the domain name that you'd like to purchase is available. Luckily they give us two areas where we can do that. We can click up here in this start search at the very top in the header or right here in the center of the page where it says start a domain name search. And This is what I like to use. It's just for some reason it's more convenient for me. So let's say in this example you're, you have a home theater business and you'd like to uh, see if the domain name home theaters is available. So you punch in your address and just click go. And here's a pretty typical example of something you might see depending on the domain name you choose where it shows you hometheaters.com is already taken. That's a pretty uh, generic name so uh, you would imagine somebody's already gobbled that domain name up. So what we're going to need to do is to find something that we can tailor this to either by using a dash or an underscore or adding some characters to the beginning or to the ending of the domain name. So that's what I would typically do and uh, in this case maybe you're going to be state specific um, so if you're in the state of Georgia you could put GA home theaters and try to do a search and uh, luckily we we see this big uh, green check mark so that's good news it says Georgia home theaters dot com is available so uh, that's a good starting point you'd have to consider for your particular situation whether you want to limit yourself to the state of Georgia or uh, to the whole country or to the whole world depending on what your product or service may be so in this case GeorgiaHomeTheaters.com may actually fit my uh, requirements let's say that Georgia Home Theaters doesn't actually meet your requirements and that uh, you'd like to use the GoDaddy tools to give you some suggestions on what you can do so you can actually click right here in the center the uh, the smart search tab and what that's going to do is to give you all kinds of all kinds of availability of prefixes or postfixes that you can add to your domain name they have .com, .net, .us and uh, if you scroll down through this list you'll be able to see all the different domain names that they've they've uh, created for you and what you'd want to do is select all the different names that appear to be of interest for you and then click on the button where it says check availability so that's what I'm going to do here and uh, what you can see right here in the middle based on what I selected it came back and said these names are available so uh, if we like those better than the other the uh, George Home Theaters we can just select that and um, once you've picked out a name that you're happy with what you want to do is just say proceed to checkout walk yourself right through the checkout process and uh, one thing I'll advise you with with GoDaddy is they are very good salespeople and uh, all along the way they're gonna try to upsell you on stuff my recommendation is that you just stick with the domain name for now and you can always add on these other features down the road they're gonna try to offer you their hosting uh, name protection I'll let you make the decision on your own whether or not you want to do that or not but for the most part I would just stick with the domain name and uh, I've got another section where I'm going to recommend the actual web host that you use to host your web pages and uh, they kind of make the no thanks right here in the center uh, not as obvious what you need to do so I just click on no say no thanks continue to check out and uh, once you've proceeded to check out you'll fill in all the information for the domain registration this will be your name and address eventually they're going to get to the point where they're going to ask you for your credit card information just enter that as you would anywhere else and uh, you should get a couple of email confirmations in the mail giving you all the details of what you what you can do next and that pretty much wraps this up for how to select yourself a domain name and actually purchase it through godaddy.com 
I hope you found this review uh, helpful, and you'll continue to check out my blog at chrislangston.com for more tips on how to get your business up and running online quickly.